So here's the biggest thing about cervix cancer. Um, I usually call it the WTF cancer because there is no reason for anyone to get cervix cancer. Now, yes, there are these very rare types that can kind of speed up and, and show up in between pap smears, but if you're a woman who's getting her pap smear and now the recommendations are if you have been HPV tested and your pap smear and your HPV test are normal, you need to be tested every five years. If you're only getting the pap test, then you need to be seen every three years. If you haven't ever been screened, you need to be screened. That is your primary prevention. So as important as it is to screen those who are at risk, people who have more partners, people who have no health coverage, those are the people at biggest risk, they need to be screened. And people who um, have been getting regular PAPs, now it's gonna be a little hard to understand, but if your PAP and your HPV test is normal, you can come every five years. I think one of the hardest things for me as an oncologist to understand is when I see women who come in with cervix cancer, it's almost harder to talk to them than any other cancer because you know it could have been prevented. There are many cancers that we don't know the cause, we don't have a good screening test, and we don't have a vaccine. We have all three things to totally wipe cervix cancer from this planet, and it's, and it's almost inconceivable to understand why we still see women with cervix cancer. So I, I encourage you to get your pap test, to talk to your doctor about the frequency for coming, and keep your own records so that you know if your doctor changes or your hospital changes when you're supposed to be getting tested.